Now, before beginning our analysis of the fluorescent signal in these images, it's important to realize that unlike bioluminescence, where signal is reported in radians, i.e. in photons per second per centimeter squared per steradian, when you're doing image analysis of fluorescent signal, the units will be in efficiency. And so you may ask, what exactly is efficiency? And that is a good question. So efficiency really is a ratio value where we're looking at the relative radiance of the fluorophore detected over the known radiance output of the LED that is being used to excite the fluorophore in the first place. So efficiency values generally range from zero to one, where zero would be no detected fluorophore signal, and one would be where the fluorophore signal is essentially equal to the LED output, which quite honestly never happens. Think about it, there's tons of light coming from that LED source, and only a fraction of it is gonna actually hit the floor force in your mouse model system. So the numbers associated with efficiency values tend to be quite low with negative exponents, simply meaning that the numbers are quite small, not negative themselves, but small. And when one does ROI analyses of fluorescent data in terms of efficiency, the value that you're looking to quantify is total efficiency, which is equivalent to the mean of the efficiency of the region of interest times the area of that region of interest, and therefore the units will be centimeter squared. Now, what is the rationale for doing an analysis of fluorescent data in efficiency? The essential rationale is to normalize your efficiency data. So what are we normalizing for? Well, firstly, each LED in the SI imaging systems has its own baseline output radiance value. And if you're using more than one probe, you'll need to account for that difference in radiance output. Secondly, each LED is tunable to a power level ranging from zero to 100% power. And if the investigator uses, let's say, a 10% power level in one image and a 50% power level in another image, then that LED output in radiance is going to change. And one will need to take that into account. So in this fashion, by using a ratio of radiance of that detected from the fluorophore and that known output from the LED, you're able to normalize both for the variance in the baseline output of the LEDs and any change in output based on percent power used for a particular fluorescent image. <music>